Faneuil Hall was built in 1742 by Peter Faneuil, a rich merchant who supported the pursuit of an independent nation free from British oppression. Peter Faneuil gained most of his wealth through smuggling, slave trade, and inheritance from his uncle. In the year 1691, Peter's father, Benjamin Faneuil, died and he was adopted by his uncle, who was formerly one of New England's wealthiest men. After his uncle's death, Peter inherited a large amount of his uncle's wealth, possessions, and over 10,000 euro in East India Company stock. Peter was able to increase his financial income through the Triangle Trade Route. This trade route extended from New England to Africa and then back to the Americans. One of Peter's biggest exports were slaves, which he would exchange with the West Indies for sugars and molasses. His most famous ship was named the Jolly Bachelor due to his uncle's request that Peter would never marry if he wanted to inherit any money. It was not only Peter's wealth that contributed to his popularity, but one of the most important gifts ever given to the city of Boston. Faneuil Hall was donated by Peter Faneuil and was officially opened in 1742. Faneuil Hall provided a gathering place for many important people in the birth of some of the most well-renowned rebellious acts against British. The Stamp and Sugar Act were both taxes applied by the British on many of the colony's everyday goods. While the Sugar Acts affect mainly the richer colonists, the Stamped Acts it was well known through all of the social classes. Infuriated with these new taxes established by the British government, many colonists sought out a solution to these economic changes. With both the Loyalists and Radicals, the colonies found themselves split between differing opinions on the situation. Faneuil Hall was able to accommodate both the Loyalists and Radicals. This allowed the two groups to converse and eventually create a solution, which would later result in the British repealing taxes. Countless acclaimed speakers visited Faneuil Hall through the mid-1700s. Samuel Adams was one of the most well-known leaders in the revolutionary group named the Sons of Liberty. This specific group would torture British supporters and use that fear to prove a point. Sam Adams was an acclaimed visitor of Faneuil Hall and would defend the side of the radicals. Today, a monument of Sam Adams stands with pride outside Faneuil Hall, recognizing his assistance in the independence of the United States of America. James Otis was another well-known representative who was famous for his phrase, No Taxation Without Representation. This quote was first spoken by James Otis from the early 1750s in Faneuil Hall. It not only was used during the Sugar Act and Stamp Act, but also to protest against future acts such as the Townshed Acts. It was Faneuil Hall where President George Washington toasted the first birthday of American independence. Even though Faneuil Hall is acclaimed for its involvement in political matters during the Revolution, it is also part of the busiest market in Massachusetts. Quincy Market was where most imports and exports were exchanged due to Boston ports. One of the most renowned income was slavery. Many slaves were brought through Boston and auctioned near the steps of Faneuil Hall. Hundreds of goods and slaves were brought in and out of the ports of Boston every day. Being near the water, Faneuil Hall was also responsible for the creation of the Boston Tea Party, one of Boston's most rebellious acts. Days before the night of December 17, 1773, a large group of revolutionaries gathered and conspired a brilliant plan to show they were finally through with unfair treatment from British and the Tea Act. Men dressed as Indians raided British boats and threw crates of tea into the Atlantic Ocean. This act of rebellious nature was the tipping point for British and colonial tension. Faneuil Hall not only helped shape Boston, but rather the whole United States into what it is today. Independence and freedom all come with a price, and our forefathers were willing to sacrifice themselves and what they believed in to secure our freedom. Today, Faneuil Hall is used to confirm citizenship into the United States. 
that this gift many important acts, saying, and people may have never received the rightful recognition they obtained to this day.